ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 2nd of September. And it sure looks like Alabama's weather will stay quiet over the next 7 to 10 days with tropical action to the west and tropical action to the east. Let's take a look at some sky cam shots this afternoon. Would love to be up on that big mountain. In fact, I'll be up there later in the month helping to judge the annual Chiha Chili Cook-Off. That's the Mount Chiha sky cam looking down the Talladega Mountains. The sky mostly cloudy there on the eastern side of the state. Look at the uh, view coming from the uh, Wingate Inn on US 280. Traffic down below on a mostly cloudy, breezy, but dry day. In the Gulf Shore Sky Cam, uh, the surf getting somewhat back to normal. And looks like a few folks are out there. Probably the beaches are still closed, but uh, again, uh, Alabama's Gulf Coast fared pretty well with Gustav. Here's our water vapor satellite imagery. And of course, Gustav is uh, the headliner for the southern United States. Nice trough coming down across the uh, northern plains. That'll bring down some nice, cool, autumn-like air. And down there in the lower right, that's Hannah. In terms of Gustav, we've still got some uh, tornado activity here. A tornado watch until 4 o'clock over a large part of southeast Louisiana, southern and central Mississippi. We've seen tornado warnings right up the Alabama state line, including Lauderdale County. That's the county in which Meridian is located. But, of course, around here, the weather quiet as a mouse. And more than likely, it's going to stay that way. It's pretty amazing. Looks like an interstate highway, and we're kind of in the median there. You've got the uh, heavy rain from Gustav from uh, Baton Rouge, Vicksburg, and Little Rock on up to St. Louis and Detroit. And from Hannah, this weekend, heavy rain from near Charleston, South Carolina, up to Boston. But if this is right, not a drop over a pretty good chunk of North Alabama, and by golly, I think that's about right. On the convective outlook, uh, the rest of today and tonight, a slight risk of severe weather. Southwest Alabama, including Mobile, uh, Mississippi, including Jackson and Greenwood, Greenville, Adjacent parts of Louisiana and Arkansas, pretty much the same region day two, shifting a little back to the northwest, mainly over western Mississippi, north Louisiana, Arkansas, and south Missouri. Now let's see what's going on out here. Count them lined up like uh, trains on a track. Gustav, Hannah, Ike, and Josephine. Uh, all are tropical storms out there over the water. We have no hurricanes at this point. Hannah was downgraded this morning. Really having a hard time with wind shear. The, the convection is not really near the center of circulation there. Uh, the modeling has shifted a little bit to the west. Uh, now the models are going to bring this thing awfully close to Jacksonville and Brunswick. Some of them, not all of them. We've still got a few that bring it up to Charleston. And then looping the thing up in the westerlies up toward the northeast United States. One way or the other, we stay on the dry side. No impact here. The big question, will there be an impact for Jacksonville and Daytona Beach and places like that? The Hurricane Center has adjusted their track a little to the left. And, you know, this thing reminds me of uh, Floyd. Remember that one in 1999? I was actually in Jacksonville for that. Uh, uh, we went from Jacksonville all the way to Charleston covering that storm. I don't think this one will be that strong. It's been fighting this wind shear, and, and, and intensity is a big question mark. Uh, at this point, the guys have it as a minimal hurricane just just offshore near Daytona Beach, then going north up toward Charleston. But that's going to create some nervous moments for folks on the South Atlantic coast. Hey, Ike looks pretty good here. Uh, that's the one out there around 45 West. Very nice-looking symmetrical outflow. Now, this thing could be problematic. The models on Ike bring it to a point just uh, near the, the eastern tip of Cuba over the weekend. And just for the fun of it, look at the European. <laughs> See that big hurricane in the Gulf? That's Ike uh, next week. That's at 240 hours. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but uh, the European has certainly been on that idea for a while. There's the official track for Ike. The Hurricane Center ramps it up into a hurricane, brings it to that point just off the uh, eastern tip of Cuba Sunday morning. Could be a Gulf storm. We'll watch that one. And then Josephine in the eastern Atlantic, just south of the Cape Verde Islands. Pretty good-looking spray here. The BAM deep recurves it. The BAM shallow drives it more to the southwest. 
Most models move it west-northwest. Hurricane Center track kind of goes with the model blend. Sunday morning at 8, it's out in the middle of nowhere. And again, from that point, it could recurve or keep coming. We just don't know yet. We'll deal with that one later. Let's look at the GFS. This is where we are at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. The primary westerlies are up north. Down below that, you've got Gustav trapped around Texarkana. Heavy rain still to the west. Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, we are dry. Hannah over the southeast Bahamas. Thursday. What's left of Gustav's up around Little Rock. Heavier uh, rain shears out towards St. Louis and Chicago. And Hannah makes the move for Florida. And Friday, by golly, the GFS brings Hannah to a point now instead of near Charleston. It's got it closer to Jacksonville, Florida. So, again, there's going to be some nervous people watching that all the way from Daytona up to uh, Jacksonville and Brunswick, Savannah, and Charleston, and Hatteras. But again, we're on the dry side. Nothing happening here. And then Saturday, Hannah moves north up through uh, the uh, uh, Virginias. And that'll keep on moving up toward New England. And uh, there might be enough moisture for a shower here. Sunday, same deal. Any showers isolated Monday of next week. Watching the westerlies come on to the south. We're waiting for that first good push of cool air. We're watching that 540 line up there approaching International Falls, Minnesota. And then Tuesday, that would suggest a front down this way, maybe a few showers, but again, not much. And quickly, at the end of the cycle, the end of the forecast period, the 18th of September, uh, nice uh, wave action, but again, primarily north of here. And, you know, that's around the uh, beginning of fall there. So we'll see. I can't wait for that first good front to get here, get us down in the 40s. Uh, That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And we'll have the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you are in our neck of the woods, we invite you to watch us on ABC 3340 News in Birmingham tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.